Hey everybody, I'm Andy. Welcome to the studio. Today we're going to be talking about uh, how I process guitars uh, using the Slate plugins from the Slate All Access Pass thing. Um, I love guitars. I'm a guitar player. It's what I play the most. And uh, I'm very fond of guitars and amps and tones and stuff. And so I use uh, what you'll see behind me here, uh, if I can get myself out of the way, uh, is a Bogner Duende uh, amp head and uh, it powers a cabinet that has two Celestion vintage 30s it's in the other room over there and uh, <clears throat> I put a 57 an SM57 onto that cabinet on one of those uh, Celestion vintage 30 speakers and I pull that in here it comes through the focus right uh, one of their preamps not using the air function uh, but it comes in and then comes to the console and so uh, let's go ahead and first we'll take a look at how we're processing uh, the guitar so we've got all the way through the song we've got a mid gain guitar that runs the front to the end uh, then we've got some heavy gain guitars that come in like halfway through the verses hit the chorus halfway through the verse hit the chorus um, and that's all three guitar tracks really the, uh, the mid gain one is hanging out in the center uh, the high gain ones are panned hard left and hard right and so let's jump in and have a look what are we doing with them uh, so the first thing we're doing of course uh, we'll look at the mid gain channel first uh, we'll go ahead and pull that guy up and solo him see what we think about that there's a good delay that sits on this guy too I should say there's a good delay that usually is on that thing too um, we'll turn that off so we can hear what some of the processing does um, and so the first thing uh, we have the trimmer just kind of making the gain sit exactly how I want it to. Next in line is the uh, Hollywood preamp uh, module and uh, it's in console mode, push mode, sitting at about five. Um, and this to me is like, uh, it makes sure you're off to a good start. It's kind of like putting a, um, a Strat through a compressor pedal, like a Strat in itself might not really have the the oomph for the balls that I want but when I put that compressor pet it sure does afterwards um, so um, this thing uh, to me it feels kind of like that it gives it balls it gives it some push it gives it uh, some clarity and some tonality tonality that it didn't have I don't think before uh, kind of and so I'll turn it off here real quick um, this is my universal hand sign for off this is on um, so we'll start with it on and we'll have a little listen to see what we think. It's just something about that that I really like. <clears throat> um, so next in line is the uh, virtual channel thing. Um, and so if I turn really the, all the whole song back on, you can hear pretty well uh, the distinction uh, between on and off with that virtual channel. Let's have a listen. I'm going to turn it off. So right now we're off. I'm going to go do a thing and not tell anyone. I'm gonna go see a thing And not show anyone And maybe in each moment I can find that little something And let the memory take me past your bad intentions They can break my life and my station Yeah, every time I do that, man, I hear it better and I like it more. Um, again, it's the same time, same kind of thing that we're describing. And if you don't have a good 
pair of reference headphones or monitors or something, it's going to be hard to hear. Um, it's very detailed. Um, and if your ears are tired, it's going to be hard to hear. Um, there's so many things that go into this, but it's definitely, uh, it's one of those things I like, I, I hear it, I like it, I keep putting it in there. Um, so that works out. And, and also these tools, you know, uh, all the little things add up to a big thing all the time. And so it's, it's an important thing to remember. Uh, the pros know this. They run their stuff through all these things all the time. And it adds up to something better. Um, and so that's one of the, you know, there's an easy tip kind of secret. It's like all the little things do add up. And that's the difference between pro stuff and non-pro stuff, I think. And so moving along, we get to the Neve EQ. Um, and this Neve EQ module is fantastic. It's got this thing happening in the mid range. It's super awesome. So I always throw it on the mid range on the mid gain guitars. Um, I'll try and pull a little bit off the top and the bo and the bottom, boost up the center a bit, um, and then I put this lift uh, module on the end of it. High lift, low lift. Uh, nothing on the low side, but the high one I'll bump up a little. That's probably like three, three point three, and. Uh, I'll bump that up a little and that gives you like this sweeping upper end on the whole upper side of the spectrum, you know, like, and so I kind of like that. It works out really nice. So I'll turn them off and let you hear it without them. And then I'll turn them both on and let you hear it with them. Um, so. I'm gonna go do a thing and not tell anyone. I'm gonna go see a thing. Yeah, that's all super obvious um, what that's doing. Um, we don't even need to talk about that. So that's how your mid gain guitar ends up landing. Um, and then after all that's done, uh, you get your heavy guitars up on in there. And so those guys don't probably have, uh, well, I mean, they're a very important role, I should say. They're, we got one pan this way, one pan that way. When you solo just one at a time, they're gonna sound probably a little bit thin. One at a time if you put them off to the side you know it's hard to really get a good feel so that's why I, I like the it's really important like you can solo things and get a good a good specific look at what's happening but really put it back in the mix before you let it go so you can really hear what's happening because often almost always it changes just a little bit when it's in the mix um, and so how are we processing these two guitars uh, whoops uh, these two guitars are getting a trimmer a console and then they have the SSL GQ um, and only thing going on there uh, is uh, a shelf on the bottom at 68 um, not much going on compression there's a little bit more uh, the mid gain was 2 to 1 this is 4 to 1 um, and this one is you'll hear it more drastically I'll let you hear um, Yeah, we're even barely hitting that even. Um, and so uh, that to me is probably take it or leave it. Um, I, it's it's in there. I like it. I always put them in there. And I think it adds that little something that, again, is going to add up to an overall something nice. Um, now, I could drive this a bit more. <laughs> Thank you. 
And so you can see what's going on there. Like I drive it more and I'm, I'm getting more compression. I'm getting more of the sound of the stress. Uh, yeah, didn't want it there. Like it wasn't working out for me. So like there was a sweet spot and that's where I landed. I dialed that back and hit it just right. And there we are. And uh, that's probably uh, similar. That's what, probably what we got going on on both channels. Uh, yep, I landed in the exact same spot there. And so the two together are like this. And then I'll add in the third, the mid gain. The only other thing is they go through a group channel. Um, so their group channel I have, let's see what's going on. So we don't need multiple windows open. The, on the group channel, we've got a little more lift, tiny bit of lift, uh, a little more compression overall, two to one again, um, and trim it out on the end, a little, little tiny bit. Um, then we've got it all going through virtual tape. Looks like we're hitting pretty hard. <laughs> We can hit it harder. Um, we can hit it harder, but that's the virtual tape. And then we've even got, uh, oh yeah, Precision Delay. This is a plugin that's in the Motu uh, package with DP. Uh, and it basically is a phasing thing. It's going to try and uh, eliminate any phasing issues, which I wouldn't have anyways. But just uh, for why not, sometimes it makes a stereo thing like, really nice and spacious and wide um, but in any event uh, that is uh, how I process guitars um, for this song and it's generally how I do for almost all my songs um, so uh, with with live guitars um, and so that's uh, the live situation um, next time I will jump in here we'll do a video about uh, let's I'll probably maybe redo these same tracks but with the THU the slate thing um, the over loud thing in the slate all access pass package um, those amps are awesome i don't know why i wouldn't be able to recreate i bet i can um, so we'll see tune in for that uh, subscribe to the channel if you uh, don't want to miss such things and uh, hopefully we'll all learn something so have a good one see you later